All right, so now we have our two rectangles. Now let's actually make it into something useful. So what we can do that we haven't done yet before is over here you have some camera tools. I have this hand right here I can grab around if I need to. I can zoom in and out. Um, one nice tool is this one right here, the magnifying glass. It, it zoom all home. If I click that, no matter where I am, it's going to zoom it so it makes the whole image fit onto my screen. If I use my mouse and on my scroll wheel, I can scroll and zoom in and out also. If I click and hold on the scroll wheel, it does the same as that hand. So I can click, move it around. I can use the mouse, zoom in and out. And if I'm completely lost, if it's something I'm zoomed out, have no idea where I am, I can always hit this button and it will bring it right back for me. So we can zoom in right now and add some pieces to make our phone stand. So let's use the rectangle. Remember, if you're out of the sketch, you can always right click and edit sketch. So if we use the rectangle. Remember to make our phone stand work, we need a little slot right here and a slot right here on the other side. So let's grab our rectangle Let's start on this line right here, click, and bring it over here. Go down. So we want to make sure it goes halfway. So we have three inches, half of that is click dimension, click the line, bring it down, 1.5. Enter. This width right here, this is kind of dependent on what kind of wood we use or what kind of material. Good width that we're going to use right now is actually 3 eighths of an inch. So I can type 3 over 8 and that's going to give me 3 eighths of an inch. It's going to automatically know that that's 0.375. I'm going to do the same thing up here. Remember I can click Come over here, you see that dotted line, that means that it lines up. Remember, I can always type in 1.5, hit tab, and again, 0.375, because we know that that's 3 eighths of an inch. Now that we have those two, we want to line those up, get a nice distance from our top and our bottom pieces. So again, we use the dimension tool. I want to make sure that this line and that line Come over here and click. I want that to be one and a half inches, so 1.5. Enter. Same over here. Click dimension, click the line. I want that to be one inch. Hit enter. So now we finish our sketch. This could be a phone stand right here. We could come up, cut it all out, cut out these two pieces and it would work perfectly, but it would be pretty ugly. So what we're gonna do is make it a little bit better, make it function a little bit better, make it prettier, make it good looking. And so one way we can make it actually function a little bit better is we add these feet to it. If you look at a chair or look at a table, they've all got these feet, these little legs that come down. It's not flat across the bottom. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to make a perfect one inch circle, one inch hole right there. So that way, when we cut it in half, we have a half inch below it, half inch above it, and it gives us this nice, strong, sturdy shape. So we're going to use here, remember we want to edit our sketch, use the circle tool. And if I come to this line, maybe we can zoom in for you. If I click and move away, type in one inch. If I want to click, bring it over here, one inch. So this shows my one inch diameter circle right here. I want to make sure that these are lined up correctly, so give them a good if I hit dimension, if I hit the center of the circle, that's going to move my circle. So I want these to be 
one inch apart. So that way my two circles are touching. Uh, now I'm off center right here, so I want to fix that. I know that here's one inch, that's a half inch, that's a half inch. So on either side, that's going to be one inch from there to there, one inch from there to there. And again, I can just double check. If I click that circle on that line, it's going to be a driven dimension because I know it's three across. I know that's one, that's one, so that has to be one. So that's our two holes. If we just cut it out, it would look, hit finish, it would just look like that. Kind of an M shape or W on the bottom. So if we add a line, click on the very bottom, bring it over, connect that. Very top, bring it over, connect that. So now I can see that that's going to give me that foot coming around here, right there. So that's going to give me that shape right there. If we want to get rid of all this stuff in the middle we don't need, you can use this trim tool. If I trim, that will help to delete lines. If I just click and drag over that and let go, Click and drag, that'll let go. I can do multiple lines at once. Sometimes if there's a dimension, it'll give you an error. But now, it gives me that nice shape right there. So these top and bottom pieces, we want to round those over, make those a little bit nicer. So this is going to be that front part that my phone sits on. So right here, this is that little part that sticks out. So if I want to round those over, there's a couple ways I can do that. I can use this arc tool so that creates part of a circle. I can click over here, over there, like that. We'll use this up top. But I don't want that. I'm going to use this fillet tool. So what a fillet does is I click two lines and it will automatically make that nice curved edge based on whatever size I want. So I'm going to click fill it. I want a half inch, so 0 0.5. Then I'm going to click my first line, and then click my second line. You see even before I click, it will put that line there to give me a preview. So if I went up here, that's what that would look like. So click, click, again click, click. So now, I have a nice rounded edge with that half inch radius profile. So if I took a circle and drew a circle right here, it would be a half inch. So like that, it matches up. For the top, we can use that arc tool we want to give it that nice overall smooth curve up there. So we're going to make a line going across here. And let's make it a half an inch. So 0.5. And then we can take our arc tool and click one end, click the second end, and from those two parts, we can make parts of a circle. We can come up here to the middle part right here, click that, finish sketch. So this is our sketch. If we printed it out and lasered it right now, we would see this line right here. We don't want to see that line. So again, we go back to that trim function and we can just trim that line. If I wanted to, I could get rid of these corners as well. Now you notice if I trim that, you notice that 10 moved down. If I let go, it's going to give me an error. The reason is because my computer wants to go from this line to that line as 10 inches. If I get rid of that line, it doesn't know what's going on. It gives me an error. So we can either leave it right there, it's not going to be a problem, 
or we can delete that if it was a major issue and then I could delete that line. So that right there is the basic phone stand. You could take this to the laser engraver, put in your piece of wood, cut that out, and that would be perfectly acceptable as your project. Um, anything after this is where you can add more design to it, you can change it up, you can add more laser engraving to it, put your name on it, things like that, and make it individual.